the business of IP Asia Forum 2018 in Hong Kong, bringing together more than 2,600 IP professionals and global business leaders from 28 countries and regions. Amid many Hong Kong innovations harnessed to the power of IP, the opening address referenced China's major strategies. Those two far-reaching national strategies on mainland China, the Belt and Road Initiative and the Greater Bay Area Development, will give rise to immense opportunities for Hong Kong. They certainly include serving as an IP trading hub for the Asia-Pacific region. In a world of innovation, key policymakers looked at the global IP regulatory regime in the first plenary session. We understand more and more the significance of intellectual property as a component of trade, as part of the value added that we find in traded goods, brands and high technology products. But what we're understanding more and more is that intellectual property is something that can be traded in its own right. Literally, I'm here because of the significance of Hong Kong in these very significant developments. Brand protection was a major issue in the second plenary session, and Jack Chang later commented on Hong Kong's regulatory regime. Hong Kong Customs has always been highly commended by many brand owners. I personally have had experience with Hong Kong Customs as well. In the future, Hong Kong's technology innovation development will be her strength. The keynote luncheon considered BIP Asia Forum's theme, IP and innovation in the new socio-technological landscape, with a senior executive from Ant Financial, affiliate of giant mainland China online company Alibaba, later underlining the need for IP protection. Hong Kong is positioning to be a more innovative city among all other major metropolitan areas in the world, and IP protection is central to that. And Financial is doing its own part to contributing to Hong Kong being an innovative city. First, we are bringing Alipay local wallet to the Hong Kong community. We do that in conjunction with a Hong Kong company here in town. And also, we have operations in Hong Kong. This is our gateway to Southeast Asia. Day two of BIP Asia Forum was marked by the Global Tech Summit, which among other issues, considered the latest breakthroughs and challenges for artificial intelligence, set to be a major force for economic advantage. There was also the question of sustainability. So I wanted people to be able to adopt new ways of thinking, to really shift over to technologies which will address carbon emissions, reducing your carbon footprint. And I think Asia is already making leaps and bounds on that front. Another session traced AI from lab to the city. Among speakers was one from a world-renowned AI pure play founded in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a hub of uh, Eastern and Western, you know, and can gathering a lot of talents from everywhere. And I think Hong Kong protect the IP. It's a key element for us to develop the business here. We have subsidiary companies everywhere, and we're doing business with Southeastern Asia countries. So I give the 90 to Hong Kong for protect IP. With breakout sessions and networking opportunities, the business of IP Asia Forum truly traced a new landscape for future trade. BIP Asia Forum is one of the very few best forums I have ever seen. If you ask me to grade from 1 to 10, 10 is the highest, I have no hesitation to give a 10. The business of IP Asia Forum is for us in the WTO a landmark event uh, because it is iconic for the way we're working towards understanding the interplay between intellectual property and trade in today's economy.